Hello, this is Maria Timberlake, Vice President of Senior Living. I'm so sorry we can't be together today, but I am excited to share with you some updates from the Village's strategic plan. Our mission is enriching lives, building community. And it's our vision to always be the best retirement community in the Kansas City region. We keep both of those goals in the forefront of our mind as we consider future plans for the village. The village's strategic plan consists of six platforms. We feel it's important to move all of them forward for the greatest positive impact on our community. They are growing entry fees, which is important to the financial health of the organization and our future financial sustainability. As much as we have invested in the campus over the last number of years, we must continue our campus redevelopment efforts to ensure we can meet the needs and wants of future retirees. The continuum of care is at the heart of what we do. We want to make sure that we have the amenities, programs, and services that residents need as they age over time. Service excellence is inherent in everything we do. We want residents and their loved ones to feel good about living at the village and have a high level of satisfaction in every aspect of daily life. Quality outcomes are also critically important to the organization. We always want to not only meet, but exceed industry benchmarks for key quality measures. And finally, there's wow. We want your experience of living at John Knox Village to be a wow. Whether that's a simple interaction with a member of our team, dining in one of the restaurants, exercising in the fitness center, or attending a major party at the pavilion. Today, however, we're gonna focus our attention on campus redevelopment. I think most of you are probably familiar with our villa program, where we've torn down old style cottage homes and replaced them with villas on the north and south ends of the campus. This is the intersection of Craigmont and Shamrock Avenue. The areas in yellow are our most recently completed villa projects. The area in blue is the next phase, phase six of the villa program. We recently tore down 17 units and we'll be replacing them with seven new units. It's important to note that this is a self-funded project, which means the proceeds from those homes will pay for the construction and all related costs. This diagram is from our civil engineer and shows how the seven new units will be laid out on that piece of property. We had a few challenges with the site. We have some utilities that run through there as well as an elevation change, but we are very excited that construction will begin soon on those seven new homes. The Village Care Center was built in 1988 and it's received various facelifts or renovations since then. Last year, we renovated the 100 and 200 units of the Village Care Center. Originally, the project included furniture and artwork for the common areas in those units, but we had to cut those out due to some budget constraints. But now, coming soon, we will indeed have new living room furniture and artwork in the 1 and 200 units of the care center. In addition, we've purchased new recliners for the Alzheimer's unit, and all those things should be arriving this summer. This was made possible because the people in charge of the renovation of the Village Care Center and the Assisted Living 400 unit were able to find some cost savings as the projects went forward, so we were able to add in this furniture, and we're very excited about having that come soon. Now let's talk about assisted living memory care. More specifically, we have plans to give a facelift to memory care one. That's the memory care unit that's on Murray Road, adjacent to the ambassador room. It will include new common area lighting, new dining room furniture, new common area or living room furniture, and a fresh coat of paint. There are several other things that are on our wish list for the unit, so we're hoping we can make those happen too. These improvements are made possible, again, through funds remaining from the Village Assisted Living 400 unit and VCC renovation projects. As many of you are aware, 
The Meadows is almost completely full. We only have a couple of units remaining to sell. So it's time to start talking about expansion. The original plan for the Meadows included two phases. The first phase was what we have now, the beautiful new Commons building and three apartment buildings, Meadows East, South, and West. The plan considered a second phase, which would include expansion on the east side of the complex, adjacent to Meadows East, and on the north side of the campus, adjacent to Meadows West. At this time, the village has decided to move forward with expansion only on the east side of the complex. Perhaps we'll expand on the north at another time in the future. In starting our work with the architect, the building has changed a little bit from the plan originally submitted to the city years ago. We've decided to shorten the walking distance for the residents in the end units and make changes to improve the views of the meadows. Let's talk about the details. As I said, the new building will attach to Meadows East. We do have some residents who are living on the homes on the west side of Hope Lane who will need to relocate. We notified those residents of the change earlier this week and are anxious to work with them closely to find new homes on the campus. The new apartment building will be four stories tall and will include 50 new apartments. They'll be mostly two bedroom apartments because that's what's been most popular. The building will also include a parking garage. And I know a lot of you are gonna be really excited to hear that we will be expanding the parking for the Commons building. Now, I don't have details to share with you because we're looking at a couple of different options, but hopefully by the time we get together, I'll be able to give you more on that. It's important to note that the Meadows expansion is a self-funded project meaning the proceeds from the new units will cover all the costs of the project. It's also important to note that the project is contingent upon milestone approvals by our board of directors. This is a big project and it's a complex project and there will be different points in time where we take updated information to our board to make sure they're comfortable with us moving forward as a viable project. So what are our next steps? First and foremost, we're gonna work closely with those residents who need to relocate. We're continuing our design development with the architect and we're getting ready to start marketing to prospective residents. We'll also be monitoring the market for favorable financing options. Our current timelines are to be 50% pre-sold by March 31st of 2021. In addition, we plan to go for financing and begin construction in spring of 2021. Again, that will be contingent upon milestone approvals by our board. So now let's talk about some other projects, or I probably should say some potential projects. Let me explain. We are continuing to work on the budget for the Meadows expansion, and we're monitoring the financial environment. That's a little uncertain these days, and we need to be paying attention to the financial market as well as our financial performance, considering the impact of COVID-19. But our goal is to incorporate some additional needed projects in the financing of the Meadows Expansion Project. Again, this would all be contingent upon approvals by the board, but it's our goal and we're working hard to make it happen. So what are those projects? The first is a facelift to the Village Assisted Living 100, 200, and 300 units. More specifically, we want to implement some corridor improvements to make the look and feel more compatible with the recently completed Village Assisted Living 400 unit. So it would include paint and carpet, artwork and furniture, lighting and signage. We also hope to do a remodel of the Villager Salon. This would include paint, flooring, new stations, a new pedicure throne, and new waiting area furniture. And drum roll please. Yes, we hope to include Peace Parkway in the expansion project of the Meadows. It would include some, if not all, of Peace Parkway from Moore to Pryor Road. We'll need to spend some more time studying it 
and we're not sure of the timing or the exact process, but it is our goal to make that happen. I'd also like to put a plug in for the foundation. They've been very supportive of our campus redevelopment and more specifically campus beautification. The foundation has a garden and grounds fund and has done a lot of neat projects on campus over the years. But they're getting more requests of residents wanting benches and even bike racks. And residents are interested in starting a tree replacement program. We have needs also to enhance the courtyards in our licensed facilities, assisted living, memory care in the Village Care Center to enhance the outdoor environment for those residents. We're also getting requests from residents to add more pocket parks at the Village. So one of the ways that we can make those happen sooner rather than later is through generous gifts to the Foundation specified for those needs. We also have the Meadows Patio Brick Program which enhances the beauty of the campus and raises funds for the fitness programs here at the campus. If you're intrigued by any of these ideas, feel free to call Gail Benet at the Foundation, 347-2384. Okay, I've thrown a lot at you today and you probably have a lot of questions and I hate that we aren't together so we can have some good dialogue. But I'll tell you what, you can still contact me. Call me at 347-2110 or email me at mtimberl, that's M-T-I-M-B-E-R-L, at jkv.org. And I'll get back to you if I have an answer, or if I don't. And uh, hopefully by the time we're able to get together and, and talk, um, I'll have more pictures and more details to share. You know, it's a tough time for all of us right now, but I think I think it's exciting to look to the future and I'm excited to be part of making great things happen for you and the residents to follow. Thank you and have a great day.